Hi, you've been discussing cost, volume, profit analysis and understanding not only how co various costs behave, but we've been utilizing cost, volume, profit analysis to understand our break-even point, uh, op the concepts of operating leverage, concepts of margin of safety. But there's one point that I, I think that is, is addressed in your text, but I want to expand on it a little bit. If we recognize the fact that the cost structure of any firm is made up of two things, there's a variable cost and there's a, a, a fixed cost, that's, that's what you're playing with. And the, and the combination of that, of course, is your total costs. Now, depending upon your firm and how your cost structure is organized, that is, what percentage of your total cost is in variable cost, versus fixed has a lot to do with the level of profitability you will enjoy as revenues shift in one direction or the other. For example, I've got two companies here. Company A that sells $100 worth of product of which $20 of their cost are variable, yielding a contribution margin of $80 with a fixed cost of 60 and its operating profit is 20. Similarly, I have company B that sells $100 worth of product $60 worth of variable cost, $40 of contribution margin. Its fixed costs are only 20, therefore its profit level is also 20. So they're equal sales, equal profit, except company A is a low variable cost, high fixed cost business, and company B is a high variable cost, low fixed cost business. There are advantages to disadvantages to each. In a high cost, or excuse me, in a high fixed cost, low variable cost business, the advantage is as revenue increases, the level of profit increases much more rapidly. The, the percent increase is greater. Alternatively, in a bad time, that same phenomenon occurs in the opposite direction. If revenue goes down, the implication on the bottom line is greater than that that would be seen by a company with a higher variable cost and a lower fixed cost uh, distribution of its cost. So let me demonstrate. Let's just assume company A's revenue increases to $110. That's a 10% increase. Well, think since variable cost in total increases proportionally with volume, this cost is gonna increase to $22. Therefore, the contribution margin is gonna go to $88. Now, assuming we're operating within the relevant range, $60 of fixed cost leaves us with a $28 profit or an increase of 40%. A 10% increase in uh, revenue demonstrates a 40% increase in profit. Alternatively, if revenue drops by 10% down to $90, uh, the variable cost will be reduced to 18. The contribution margin will drop to 72. Again, the fixed costs are 60, profit drops to 12, which is a 40% reduction. Let's assume the same phenomenon occurs with company B. Sales will increase by 10% to 110, costs will go to 66, profit will go to 44. The increase here is a 20% increase in profit. A downtick of 10% in revenue will lower my variable cost to $54. My contribution margin will be reduced to 36. My overall profit level will drop to 16, which is a 20% reduction. The moral of the story, revenue variability results in a much greater income instability, if you will, or it has a much more dramatic effect if your variable costs are low and your fixed costs are high. Good news when things are going rosy and everything is going up and to the right. But if you run into a downtick in the economy or a downtick in your particular market, and or you run into a competitive situation where pricing is getting reduced in order to maintain share or whatever the case may be, and revenues drop, in that scenario, they're gonna have a much more dramatic effect on the bottom line than a company with a cost structure that has a higher variable cost, lower fixed cost component. I hope this helps you understand the importance of thinking through the manner in which you're gonna structure a firm or understand more clearly what kind of a cost structure you have so that it tells you 
in advance of if, what will happen if X happens and what is the likely effect that that will have on the bottom line. Hope you found this useful. Bye.